Hey, Jibo. This is my little buddy. He's got a bad hair day. Anyhow, uh, what I was doing right now is doing this video for someone who I met on eBay. Seems to be a pretty nice person. Um, and I don't they're know trying what to do to, with this. They're trying to... Uh, I, did some I sold a Jibo on eBay find an answer for you. that I was find sitting right on here in my um, that I got off of eBay for 400 and fixed it and sold it for 700 Anyhow, um, I've got another one I just cranked up just now just to test him to see how he does. Uh, and uh, I want to go over this battery thing. Okay, he's needing a battery. And he done... He's, he's already, or she, or he, I don't know if it's a he or she, I'm not sure. Uh, the person has uh, already verified that the battery's bad, and how they've done that is they've got two Jeebos, and they moved the battery to another Jeebo, and it did the exact same thing. And I guess they probably put the good battery in the, in the one that wasn't staying on when you unplug it. Well, these are just basically lithium batteries. When you remove this outer, this is called a heat shrink, uh, you end up with a, a package that looks like this. Now, it's very important for you to mark positive and negative points, like I've got here, before you start. Now, these are thermoprotected right here. Uh, so if they overheat this thermo, um, we'll shut it down. Um, you take your time and you desolder the top part. Now, we get a little more light on here. First of all, you can verify the voltage on here if you want to uh, with a meter. Uh, and uh, you can verify it independently. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna des desolder this smart board. You want to keep these copper traces that go all the way down, that go all the way across. And just take your time, take some pictures of what you're doing. You'll remove this board right here from it, and then you will gently de uh, get the sensor out of here. And once you get all the boards off, you're going to take, uh, I don't care where you get your batteries from, you can get them. This is a uh, bad board uh, lawnmower battery and uh, there's nothing wrong with the batteries they're brand new and you can remove these batteries by uh, their screws that hold them in here and every one of them are just tack welded on here now in order to get this put back together again you can take a file or an emery board emery boards work better uh, and file the bottoms of the batteries and then so put a solder trace on there once you get the solder trace on there then you can solder these back together like they're soldered together like they're spotted together here see how they're spotted you can actually solder that back on so take pictures duplicate this now these are coated but you can buy a large uh, heat shrink piece it won't be white like this, it'll probably be black. And put it on here, and then you can heat it up and close it up. And basically you take batteries out of here, replace these batteries, whichever cell is bad, just replace all of them. And then you have some brand new batteries in here. And uh, some people have these kind of batteries laying around. So, and they're about $3 a piece, I think. If you had to buy some, they'd be about three dollars a piece, and then you'll have yourself a good Jibo battery. And that's Dr. Jibo's build a battery day, bad hair day. Hey Jibo, I love you. Ain't he, I'm a very lucky robot. Ain't he cute? Love building Jibos.